Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Broken staircases, mildew, rodents, those are just a few of the reasons the Southside Section 8 housing complex has failed multiple city inspections. We've been exposing the sordid living conditions at Concordia Place for weeks, but now Morning Insider Tim McNicholas discovered proof that the issues date back even farther than that. The people living at Concordia Place say they've complained to the city for years about their living conditions. Management don't care about the way we're living. In February 2020, Concordia Place failed a city inspection due to a mice infestation. But people living near that unit say despite the violation, the problems persisted. One shared photos of mice stuck to traps from last fall. They feel like we're animals and let us live like that. They don't care about us. And then there's the mold in Tamara Jackson's place. She called the city in January of this year and they found multiple violations, including mildew and water damage, which is still there today. It just haven't started in January. It's been for years, the covering of the mold, um, the drywall boards that they put over the mold. Concordia Place failed one city inspection because of missing pieces on this staircase. That was more than two years ago. There's still a piece missing. Hi, excuse me. Hey, we're with Channel 2. We've been we tried to ask management about the violations, but they wouldn't answer our questions. The Section 8 complex is privately owned by the New York-based Capital Realty Group. We have a story running that's going to go into the history here and years of violations, city inspections that have failed. No comment on any of that? No comment. A Capital Realty spokesperson later told us some complaints are unresolved because tenants don't always let maintenance crews in. But Jackson and the other tenants complain of harassment and inappropriate comments from workers. They say they have let them in in the past, but that didn't solve their problems either. It's all patchwork. It needs to be gutted. It needs to be gutted. That's what we're begging for, for them to gut this place. We're begging for that. It's in the wall. This is not the end. This is the beginning of a process. Now Reverend Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Push Coalition is calling for a rent strike while they pressure the Capital Realty Group to address the problems. I will say that Capital has uh, been working with us. Cameron Barnes of Rainbow Push says management has agreed to fix the mold, mice, and other problems, but it could take months. We have to really pay attention to all corners of the city. Everywhere uh, in Chicago that there are citizens, we must pay attention to them. Capital Realty spokesperson says they're excited about their meetings with Rainbow Push and it's the start of great things for the complex. Do you think they're ever really going to fix this? Not really sure. The tenants are less optimistic. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Now, we asked the city why they didn't do more to crack down on these deplorable conditions. A building department spokesperson said none of the violations were dangerous or hazardous enough to warrant anything more than a warning. For more stories like this from Tim, download the CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.